Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Sea Life 1000F Sea Dragon video light. So this is basically a handheld uh, sort of wide angle torch. You can mount it onto um, different sort of arm options. So you can use it as like a photo video light um, or you can use it as a handheld if you really wanted to. Um, so 1000 lumens of um, quite white light um, and you've got a rechargeable battery that comes in it as standard. It's a normal size of the 18650 rechargeable battery, um, and that can run at full power up to about 90 minutes. Um, this has a uh, sort of a wide angle sort of floodlight of about 130 degrees. Underwater, that will be about 98 degrees. Um, so it's gonna sort of flood the entire area with light, which means it's quite good for photos and videos just to provide some subtle light, bring some colors back into your images. Um, but as an actual practical torch looking around, um, it's just gonna diffuse a lot of the light, so not quite so practical as a um, sort of look around corners torch. Uh, we're gonna take a look at what you get with it first and then I'll focus on the torch itself. Um, a lanyard, uh, a clip lanyard as well. So sort of one section goes around the base of the torch and then you can clip it off onto a D-ring, um, keep it nice and safe, especially if you're attaching onto an arm, you just want that second anchor point just in case the worst should happen. A few different mounting options. We've got a YS mount that'll clip to the, or sort of screw to the underside of the torch. Goes to like a GoPro style knuckle. Um, one of those that'll attach to something, I'm sure. Um, a screw that attaches onto that sort of YS mount. Charging options, so a recharging cradle for your 18650, that's sort of spring-loaded job, and then plug that into a powered USB um, port so you can recharge that battery. Some silicone grease, useful for everything. Um, just keep O-rings clean and whatnot. And a pair of spare O-rings, so two of those. Of course, these are spares, though you already have some fitted to the torch. Um, these are just if you do wear those out. So the torch itself, um, the head is made out of anodized aluminium, so that's lightweight but strong. Um, it's anodized, so it's corrosion resistant. Um, we've got that sort of red flash in the front, which is the uh, sort of sea life sort of style. Um, on the underside of the head, we can see these are the two um, sort of screw points. Um, you screw into one of those and the second one just stops it from twisting and turning. Moving down towards the handle, so this is a rubberized grip um, with a nice texture, so you get a decent grip of it when you're um, sort of hand holding the torch. Decent size lanyard loop point, so you can attach a lanyard onto that, and it's a decent size, it's not fiddly, you're gonna be able to thread it through. We also have a overpressure valve down right at the end of the torch, so if, in the unlikely event, that any water should make it into the torch, um, you can undo it, because that's gonna relieve any um, sort of pressure buildup, so you can um, sort of salvage the torch. Um, if it does ever flood. So single button activation, and around that is a um, sort of plastic ring, and uh, beneath that is a uh, sort of colored LED, and that's gonna tell you the uh, sort of battery level. It's a battery level indicator, basically. Like a traffic light, it'll tell you how much battery life you have left remaining. So switching it on, just hold it down, and, um, and as you can see, it's a very sort of open, uh, sort of wide angle. There are no sort of hot spots or real sort of hard edges. It's quite a clinical, white light, um, it's, uh, it's a bit more precise than a lot of the, um, the sort of warmer LEDs that are coming out nowadays. And every time you press the button, it's just gonna dial it down to half power, quarter power, and then you have an uh, emergency strobe, and then you have S uh, SOS function. Um, and I don't know if you can see it now, but around the, uh, the button, it should be glowing green or at least a certain color, which basically tells you the, uh, the battery level uh, remaining inside of that battery. Hold it down and it'll switch off. Um, so all in all, it's a, it's a decent sized torch. Um, it's, a, it's got a nice wide angle uh, for sort of photos and videos just to bring some light back in. If you're diving with like a, a GoPro style action camera and you just want to add some light to it, then definitely you can either hand hold this or you can mount it to an arm. It's a, a very cheap way to get into sort of underwater lighting, uh, especially for sort of photos and videos without having to go to the really big options that just produce so much light. Um, this just 
brings a little bit more, it brings those reds back, it just lightens up your images and, um, and you can use it as a traditional sort of handheld torch uh, if you want to. See, it's that good sort of all rounder. If you want to uh, have an actual just a torch, just to see where you're going. It's probably not the best because it, yeah, it's just gonna diffuse all that light. Um, I usually prefer a spotlight um, as a sort of primary torch. And uh, if you're diving in sort of murkier waters, a lot of this light's just gonna get lost um, in the murk. You want say uh, a tighter sort of spotlight, more like a 10 or a 12 degree beam to be able to cut through. But in blue waters, yeah, this is a lovely torch. This is the Sea Life Sea Dragon 1000. F. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.